Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number four of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, April 12, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, everyone's favorite meat monger, Mr. Luke Jacobs. You're back but again. I thought it was the meat uh, influencer. That was last week, and we should mention that. Last oh. week it was the meat influencer, but we didn't coin that. Someone gave that to you in a comment, right? Yes, and yes. Do you remember who? Because we should give credit. <laughs> My friend Kevin Keel. Kevin. Down in Florida. Down in Florida. This See, is broadcast down in Florida. And, and friends the world over. Correct. That, that qualifies. Correct. That qualifies. You're looking well. How are you? It's spring, you know. It is spring, you doing yes. anything special for spring? Um, breaking. You're breaking spring? Spring break. Spring break. Yeah. Oh, wait, that was last week. Yeah. Well, no. It depends on what part of the country you're in, because some parts are this week. But you're riding a bike again. <laughs> or so you say. <laughs> You've gotten my updates. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe like I was that, getting right? in the car and maybe riding the Very slowly. The car. Yes. Very right. slowly. Right. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, was, did that embarrass you? It might have, yeah. So am I turning red? Like you were last no, no, week? Yeah. Yeah, that's my job. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, as with every show, this week we're going to go over weekly specials. We have a local product of the week. Who is the local product this week? Uh, it is Wyoiga Star Dairy. Wyoiga Star Dairy. Pronounced and correctly. Wyoiga? Wyoiga, yes. Okay. Then that's par apparently a city in Wisconsin. It is, yes. <laughs> you know it's I'm new here. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Special upcoming days. Those are always exciting for me. And a winner of last week's contest, which was that ham. Correct. The, the prize, not Correct. the winner. Oh. <laughs> Well, if you knew Tom, you would know. <laughs> and a new contest for this week, so we could, but you have news first. You have big news. Big this news, This is yes. exciting news. Correct. Because I have seen this before, and I'm glad it's come back around. What am I talking about? Brats of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Brats you. of the week. <laughs> Brats of the week, of course. It's big news. What Huge is, news. What is Brats of the week? Uh, brats of the week, uh, so we highlight, we've got about 40 different varieties of, of flavored brats that we make right here at Jacob's. Um, so we highlight two brats of the week that we put on sale, and um, so you can basically try out two brats a week and save some money. Uh, we have probably six or eight different varieties of brats, typically in the, in the fresh case at a time, but we have two of them on special per week. And that's every week during brat season, which Correct. is probably akin to grilling season. Well, so, I mean, some people do it year round, but uh, we just do it basically from like Easter to October-ish. How do you grill a brat correctly? How do oh, I grill guru. a brat? guru. Oh. How does a person correct, not you. Okay. You I'm not, <laughs> not, I'm not oh, convinced you do it correctly, okay. but you probably know how. I do, yes. So, so I have a, a gas grill, which some people frown so on. So fancy. Totally. Um, it's convenient, mainly. Yes, and clean. Um, correct. <laughs> not mine, but. <laughs> So I have three burners. I have, uh, you know, they're side by side. So one, one on the left, one on the, one on the right. One in the middle and one, and, okay. Correct, correct. Um, so I preheat my grill and then I turn All the middle burner. Okay. Correct, yes, yes. And then I turn the middle burner off. This is complicated already. <laughs> well. <laughs> Keep going though. You can, re you can rewatch <laughs> yes, it. I will You can rewatch re it, yes. I'll rewind. Yeah, rewind. Um, so uh, then I put my brats over the middle. I do not pre-cook them um, This is where you turn boiling. the heat off. Correct. In the middle. Turn the middle heat off and then um, basically pre-cook them over the middle um, while it's, it's kind of like more like an oven. Oh, yes. okay. So, so you're not that's really basically drilling pre them there. You're pre-cooking them in the Correct. middle. Correct. What some people might do by boiling them before Correct. putting them on the yep. grill. But, but the problem with boiling them is you yeah. cut them apart and then you boil them and then all of the, the goodness boils out in the water out. Oh, or, you you, and the, or you beer. I mean, that's a waste of beer, in my opinion. Is there beer in the beer brats? There is beer. Actual There's barley. Oh, barley. Yes. I should know what that has to do with beer, shouldn't I? You should oughta, yes. You should oughta. Anyway, so you're pre-cooking in the middle with no heat underneath them. Correct, correct. And when they're cooked? When and then when they're cooked, then you put them over the, over the flames. So that would give a nice brownness and the grill marks. The on. grill marks. Correct. Gotta have the grill marks. Gotta, Gotta have, have the grill, grill marks, marks. right. Oh, well, that's, that's good because I have seen this week's specials. You have. And there are two brats for yes. brats of the week. Yes. Uh, speaking of specials, we will go over the specials now. What do you think? Are you okay sure. with that? <laughs> you know, sure. The, you know the, the fee, though. You have to tell me a joke first. Oh, uh, so, so I was on Amazon, you know, everybody's this, favorite okay. online, everybody's favorite online retailer. And um, I was searching for a lighter. But all I found were 6,000 matches. Is that the joke? That's I have to figure that out, huh? 
Oh, 6,000 matches. Matches, oh, got right. It, got it. Yeah, it's I was hard. looking for a lighter, but I all I found was matches. 6,000 matches. I'll give it to you. I like it. I, like it. I might retell that. <laughs> Maybe. I have seen this week's specials. I'm sure specials. you got better. <laughs> I have seen this week's specials, and I know what they are. Yes. So I'm going to ask you a pertinent joke. What's the best kind of meat for your shins? Shins. For your shins. Um, let me look through the <laughs> specials this week. I'm not sure. You tell me. Bologna. 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 Oh, yeah, yes, bologna. of course. Uh, look, I even have a question. What's so special about your bologna? But we'll get to that. What's your first special there? All right. Uh, our first special is lean and meaty pork steaks. Pork steaks. I put yes. that on the screen. Yes. Now you have two prices here. Yes. So we have the thicker, thin cut. Uh, so the pork, pork steak is actually cut from the pork butt, which not a lot of people know. And that's what butcher shop television is all about letting, letting people, people know, know correct that the pork steak is actually a pork butt it's a slice of a pork butt yes. slice of a pork butt it's correct. not a pork chop correct it's not and there's no bone in it uh, is there, there is bone? there is bone there is bone in most of them oh okay. but there are a few that do not have the bone but it's not a pork chop correct it's a different part of the animal yes better part of the animal the butt the butt yes better part of the animal i'll ask <laughs> sure. again sure <laughs> Okay, you have thick and thin and thick stuffed. And thin. Stru right. What is right. it stuffed with? Uh, it's a bread stuffing that we use for our stuffed pork chops, but we use it for our pork steaks. It's so delicious. Slightly higher price on that. Correct. Because the work is done for it. Right. And right. to stuff them, you slice them and stuff them and say, here you go. Just like that. Just yeah. like that. Just, Just like, like that. that. It's as easy as this. And I don't know. Yeah, do that again. I, I don't know much about pork steaks, but I think the price is great. Yes, I might two forty nine a pound for yeah. a thinner, thick cut, and then the two ninety nine a pound for. Can the you stuff. do those on the stovetop? If you don't have a grill, sure. Okay, sure. I would recommend doing the thinner ones on the stovetop. Thinner ones on the stovetop. Yeah. All right. Yep, and the thicker ones on the grill. Where are we going now? Uh, we uh, Wisconsin Longhorn Colby cheese. Wisconsin Longhorn Colby cheese. Yes, for four ninety nine a pound. And Colby cheese is a type of cheese, like Correct. cheddar is and mozzarella. This is Colby. Correct. Is it yellow? It is yellow. It is yellow. And it's larger, so it's not like a small mini horn. Um, it's a long horn, a which long makes it larger. Horn. Correct. Is, is there something not called like a mini horn? Not like the long horns. Oh, yes. not like that. There's right. a mini horn and a long horn. Correct. Oh, I love learning things. Which with one you. do you think is bigger? Probably the long horn. Right. Probably. Yeah. But I mean, you could show me the difference. You are learning, <laughs> Eric. And that's a good price. So for teachable. Cheese. Yes, four ninety nine a pound. Uh, Almost from, free. Starting today, right? Correct. Starting today till when? Through Saturday. Through, while supplies last, I hear. And You're going to sell out of that? I hope so. I hope so. Where are we going? Uh, natural Angus sirloin steaks for okay. ten ninety nine a pound. So now we got beef, right? And it's natural. It's and actually it's from the beef butt. This so is the, the beef pork, butt. Pork butt pork is a pork butt? steak, and the beef butt is the sirloin. The sirloin. Yes. You probably have a Boneless. picture of that somewhere. <laughs> have you got? Yeah, it's okay. right over there. Oh yeah. I won't go where I was going to go. You okay. keep going. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jacob's own summer sausage. Uh, plain sausage. or garlic is five forty nine a pound, and uh, we make that right here, just like uh, the the wide variety of sausages that we carry here. This is made in house. It's, yes, that's why you call Smoke it Jacob's house, right? own. Correct. <laughs> Jacob's own. Correct. You can get plain or garlic. Is are both of them smoked? Yes, they are. They're both smoked. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is all summer sausage summer sausage smoked? Yes. Okay. It is. So to be a summer sausage, you must be smoked. Sure. Okay. Why is it called summer sausage? Do so, tell. so back in the 1800s, when the Germans came over, um, they would uh, they would slaughter an animal, and there before re this is before refrigeration. You have to understand. Uh, so, okay. okay, probably so before electricity, would, maybe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so they would cure the meat and the sausage, um, and so that it would last all summer long, so that it would not spoil. Without so refrigeration. Would, correct. So this was a. This was a, and electricity. A, a hack is what they would have called, what sure. we call it now. This is sure, hack. sure, yes. So how do you make meat not, maybe I don't want to know. How, how do, do you, you make, make meat, meat not spoil? Not spoil? Um, so you cure it, number one, with curing salt, okay. um, which is a preservative. Um, and you also uh, smoke it and fully cook it. And then it's good to go. It's good to go, right. Good to go. Right. Only so you can supper. eat it as a, as a lunch meat. You can eat it as a, on a cracker for That's like the an best appetizer. Way. That's the right. best way. Right. Do you sell you that year-round or only during warm months? We sell it year-round. We make and it year-round and sell it year-round. Do you keep it refrigerated? Because we have refrigeration here now. <laughs> and uh, is there something especially special about your particular summer sausage? It's delicious. It's delicious. Right. Good ingredients, I imagine. 
Great ingredients, yeah. yes. And it's not uh, it's not shelf stable. I mean, you you can go to some stores and they have you know the, the yard yes, of I've beef, seen that. yard of beef, and it's not refrigerated. It makes it's not, me suspicious. It <laughs> makes me very suspicious, and and among other things. But um, so our summer sausage typically has to be refrigerated. Um, you if you're going on a trip, some people come in here because they they're uh, in town visiting or they're taking it on a trip or something like that. It can be uh, without refrigeration for hours. Hours. Yes. But not months. Correct. Don't do that. Correct. Don't do that. Not recommended. Where are we going now? All right. So some teriyaki marinated oh. boneless and skinless chicken breasts for four forty nine a pound. I like chicken breasts. I prefer them to be boneless. Not a huge fan of teriyaki. <laughs> we talked about this last week. <laughs> just him and I, not on BSTV. Yeah, who knows? Right. I, I just feel like the camera's always on. Right. Right. <laughs> anyway, tell me all about this wonderful special. Good price. Yes, four forty nine. I like pound. teriyaki. Right. I think I'm going for the pork. <clears throat> we steaks. could probably um, wash it off for you if you want. Because our go. regular price on our regular boneless and skinless chicken breasts are four ninety nine a pound. So it's even fifty cents cheaper per pound. Oh, just, for, added, just to get people... added an ingredient and you made it cheaper. Right. That is Jacob's meat market in a nutshell, isn't it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Anything else special about that? Is this um, your own teriyaki? Do you make that in the back in a big vat? Uh, yes, we don't. Yes, we don't. Okay. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> right. Are we done with the chicken? <laughs> we are okay, where are we moving go? right along. Uh, Jacob's own ring bologna. Ring bologna. Plain or garlic for five forty nine. dollars That would probably be good meat to put on your shins. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> The ring bologna. So this is going to be in a ring. Correct. Kind of a horseshoe, or is it really? It's a, a horseshoe. Ring? Yeah, it's just horseshoe. like just like last week. Remember? Yeah. Was it last week? Yes, it was. Seems like, like a Kielbasa. long time ago. You didn't mention my new shirt, by the way, and I forgot to ask. But we got to stop doing this because I cannot right. buy a new shirt every week. Okay. 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 <laughs> anyway, tell me all about this ring bologna. So the ring bologna is uh, it's mainly pork. There's beef in there as well. Um, so it's like a 60-40 blend. Um, so we grind it first, and then we emulsify it in our emulsifier back there. Um, that's what that big machine is I've back seen there. That, maybe. Yes. Yeah. So it that looks was dangerous. That was brought over. And, yes, it's very dangerous. <laughs> it dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. So I, it's dangerous. I steer for you clear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that was actually machine that that machine was brought over from Germany in about 1960. Oh. And it's still, still working today. Yes. Right. That's German right. engineering. <laughs> Unlike some. Never mind. Never okay. mind. This this also I see comes in plain or garlic. Correct. Is it smoked? It is smoked and fully cooked, yes. Just like the summer sausage, it is smoked. Yep. Does that mean it has the smoke flavor? Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely. So what I like to do to, so all you're doing is just heating it back up, the ring bologna. You're supposed to heat so, this? Oh, this is not a sandwich meat. It's, it could be. A, that's the ring part. The ring sandwich? bologna. Ring bologna. Yes. <clears throat> like a horseshoe. Like, like a horseshoe. Like yes. a horseshoe. I, I got the shape. Okay. How does that fit on a sandwich? <laughs> it doesn't. That's okay. why it's not the lunch oh, meat. Oh, so what do you do with it? So I like to... <laughs> So I like sauerkraut. So uh, I who doesn't in a, like sauerkraut? There are some people out there. I'm sure. No, no, they haven't right. had the good stuff. Right, right. So, um, so in a saucepan, um, open up the uh, the sauerkraut and put it in the pan. Don't drain it or anything like that. Put the ring bologna on top there, and then put the lid on, and then just put it on, and then you're basically steaming your side of sauerkraut and Cooking heating the heating ring bologna. bologna. It's yes. fully cooked already. You did mention it is fully cooked Correct. and cured, Correct. which means it does not need refrigeration. See, I'm learning. <laughs> Sure, sure. It needs refrigeration. It does, it, yes. It needs refrigeration. Yes. But it is cooked. Right. So you could just eat it. You don't have to cook. You don't have Correct. to eat it up. We do have the lunch meat as well. Uh, that just comes in plain. That is not ring bologna. Correct. Is it bologna? It is big bologna. It is big bologna, not yes. ring bologna. Correct. You know, you spelled it funny there. What is that? Why is that pronounced bologna? Oh. It's German. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so our summer sausage and um, our ring bologna come in plain or garlic. The garlic, I think, just adds a little bit of um, seasoning to it. It's not overly garlicky. You know, you're not going to be able to taste that for the, oh, okay. the rest so of the night or anything. Overpowering. Correct. Good. Correct. Good. Then I'll try right. one of each. Okay. I'll try one of Perfect. each. Perfect. But now the good stuff. Not that this wasn't good, but this is right. the exciting. For right. me, this is the exciting. Where are we going? Correct. Uh, so next we have the Jacob's Own Hawaiian Brats. So we're going to Hawaii. Oh, oh yeah. What makes a Hawaiian brat Hawaii? Is it pineapple? Um, it is crushed pineapple. Crushed pineapple. This and, is already tasty. And your favorite, teriyaki. Teriyaki. There's some teriyaki seasoning It depends on in there. how much. See, the, I, I like the taste of teriyaki, but if it's over, if it's the only thing you taste, right. I'd prefer not to have this, it. This is delicious. So if it's a hint with yes. the pineapple, this sounds good. Right. Definitely. And Definitely. I, I have a feeling you probably got the, the right amount in there to give it Definitely. a flavor without being a teriyaki broth. Right. Yeah. Correct. You're probably an expert on these things. 
Totally. 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 Uh, so the crushed pineapple kind of kind of cuts that teriyaki, um, and it and adds a nice little sweetness to it as well. There's more than just pineapple and teriyaki in a broth, though. Right. There's pork. There's pork. Correct. Correct. From the pork steaks. Sure. Okay. The ones that we didn't cut yet. Uh, so so the Hawaiian brats are, um, you know, I mentioned how I make brats. Yes. How I, how Would I you prepare, like to tell us how again? I prepare brats? No. Okay. Um, so for the Hawaiian brats, what I always recommend for customers is to wear a grass skirt. Okay. And maybe coconuts if they want, but when a we grass get a skirt, picture of you in this, no, outfit, <laughs> we will recommend that. Do you have one of those? There's a button. I don't no, have no that button. particular oh, one okay. queued up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but but when you wear that grass skirt, do not get too close to the flames. If you have flames. If you have. Not right. everyone has a grill, you know. Right. What? Speaking of not everyone having a grill, is it possible to cook brats without a grill? Sure. How? Sure. So what I would do is take I would your house? take that. No, <laughs> the, neighbors, the neighbors, when they're not looking, they, they won't even smell it. Um, so uh, I would like to, uh, I would steam them in, like, ah, in a saucepan. Okay. Um, so basically that's your pre-cooking and then um, drain the water and then just brown them. After brown that. them in your pan? Yes. Okay. So you don't need a grill. Correct. But you probably it's prefer helpful. a grill. Yes, I do. Now, if, if we don't want the Hawaiian, what are we going to go for here? Uh, we have the Jacob's Own Mac and Cheese Brats. Uh, mac and Cheese, is that actually made with macaroni and cheese? It is, yes. Uh, is it elbow macaroni? Well, so we, <laughs> so we have an option this week of spirals or uh, elbow macaroni. Uh, not elbows, necessarily. Not elbows, but Below elbow macaroni. <laughs> have you ever had macaroni made with spirals? Macaroni made with spirals? Yeah, macaroni and cheese made with spiral pasta. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yes. I have never had that. No. Is that a Wisconsin thing, perhaps? Uh, it's a craft thing, I think. Craft makes spiral? Oh. Definitely. See, I, I need a lot Sponge of mac Bob, and cheese. You need, you need some kids in your life or something. <laughs> I, I, need a, I need a lot of things in my life. Anyway, you don't really have spirals. Correct. No. Correct. This it's is, just a joke. This is your idea of a, this is your idea of a joke. OK. Good. Good to know. I was going to do Kraft or Velveeta just to make people just wonder, but then I didn't want to get Good any what? backlash. From, oh, no backlash. From Kraft or, yeah, or Velveeta. Velveeta. <laughs> right. Anyway, I suppose there's pork in this broth. Yes. And there's also macaroni and cheese? Correct. So you make up a batch of macaroni and cheese and put it in your broth? Yes. That's interesting. That's not really how we do it. It's, okay. a, it's a seasoning. Just a and and, okay. and it's they're actually really really good. Some of the brats are sound great, but they are not as good. Um, but this macaroni and cheese brat is really really good. Is it so good if you a, like macaroni and cheese? It is. Yes. Uh, what if you don't like macaroni? And cheese? Then I would try the Hawaiian. Try the Hawaiian. Okay. Yes. So we actually have a customer that loves the mac and cheese brats, and what they do is they take extra macaroni and cheese and they put that as a garnish on top instead of like ketchup or mustard. That's a fantastic idea. Right. If you like macaroni and cheese, and <laughs> if I'm, you don't like I'm macaroni kind of and cheese, I, I like macaroni and cheese. Okay. What's your thoughts on macaroni and cheese? I love mac and cheese. Love. Love, love. yes. Oh. Yes. Strong words it is. from Luke Jacobs. Uh, I think that's it for your... Specials? Specials. Yes. Uh, where are we going now? Where would you like to go? Uh, the local product of the week? Local product of the week. I hear it's a dairy. It Star is. dairy. Wyoiga. Wyoiga. <laughs> Wyoiga Star Dairy. Am I saying that wrong? It's close. You say it. But I like the... You say <laughs> I like the, You say it, though. Wyoiga. Why, you just said it like I said it. No. Why you wega? Why you wega? Why you wega? Why you wega? Anyway, it's a dairy. It is. Uh, and I did some research. You on, did on on dairies, uh, specifically cows, because I was I was very interested in this scientific study. Don't read it. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> that uh, scientists have studied and proven that if you talk to your cows, they will produce more milk. And you know what that is? Cheese in one ear and out the other. And what do you call a ship carrying dairy cows? <laughs> I'm not sure. A gallon of milk. A gallon of milk. So without further ado, we're going to push the be right back button. Well, I'm going to get out of your screen. People are probably leaving right now. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay.
All right. But well, Eric's not in this, so I guess I have to do this part, huh? <laughs> so, so we're back. Uh, Kendra. Nice to meet you. Uh, yes. See nice you to again. meet you. Yes. Yes. Uh, so you're from uh, Wyawega Star Dairy. I am. I am. Uh, we have the big plant in Wyawega that makes all the cheese, and then we have another packaging plant in Rosendale where we do all the shipping and distribution, and that's where we get you guys all your products from. Okay. Awesome. So how was Wyawega Star Dairy uh, started? So we, um, our original owner, Jim Canos, started, it was a master cheese maker that go uh, plant to plant to plant and set up their Italian cheese. And then at, in about 75, he decided to start his own cheese making business. So he started, uh, he bought out Wyawega Star Dairy and started making cheese for himself in Wyawega. Okay. And then uh, one of his sons, uh, Dan, started Rosendale to do the packaging and distribution. Sure. So now there's four brothers running, I think, six or five or six different dairy companies all together. Wow. Wow. So he was sick of making money for other people and he wanted to make money for himself. I think that's probably right? very true. Yes. Okay. <laughs> very true. So so what kind of Italian cheeses do you still make? Today? Uh, Parmesan, Asiago, Romano, okay. uh, provolone, and then string cheese, uh, cheese curds. Cheese curds aren't mozzarella. Um, Italian, but a lot of those hard Italians, the Parm, Asiago, Romano, we do a lot of. Okay. So those will get made and then they'll be aged, like Parmesan's aged 10 months. So it wow. goes into storage for 10 months before you pull it out and start using it as Parm. Okay. Okay. So how many different varieties of cheese do you guys make? Probably 20-ish. 20-ish? Wow. We're kind of a medium-sized plant, so we're running a decent amount of milk, but we're still making lots of varieties. Okay. Usually once you start getting a little bigger, you start running more and more of the same thing and being more efficient at it. Sure. We're still okay. running a few more different things. Okay. Um, actually, you guys were talking about refrigeration. One of the biggest things that changed with cheese making and refrigeration is instead of having, you used to have dairy plants producing packaging cheese in all different places and corners. Mm -hmm. And they did that because you couldn't transport the milk very far without refrigeration. Okay. So you had to have the cheese plant close to the dairy plant. Okay, sure. So now with so much better refrigeration, like you said, now you get summer sausage all year round. Right. Now you can have cheese plants in a little bit different locations and better in general locations because they okay. don't have to be right next to the farm. Sure, that's great. Do you guys go out and pick milk up from, from dairies or do you get it shipped in from other? Both, both. So okay. we have we have a good number of farmers that are our farmers that ship milk just to us. Okay. And then sometimes we get milk in from other places also. Okay. Um, it just depends on, uh, like, you know, one plant shuts down and they have to get their milk to go somewhere. Sometimes we're able to absorb some of that and make some extra cheese ourselves. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Uh, what is your favorite kind of cheese? Mm, I'm a sucker for string cheese. String cheese? Yeah. Do you like the larger ones or the, the Not whips? the little, little whips. Not I like the, the medium ones that actually string good. And okay. Okay. Perfect for kids and teething. They chew them all up. Okay. <laughs> so is it is it taboo to bite string cheese? Uh, not I mean, taboo, had this, but you I've should at least this. string it once or twice. So once you, or twice? So you, okay. So you, okay. At least string it once or twice before you start biting it off. I've had this discussion with my girls, <laughs> and they they say that you cannot bite string cheese. You have to peel it mm -hmm. one string at a time. Yeah. it's. I'd say I'd vote for peeling like every time if you okay. get the choice. Okay. All right. <laughs> so why does it, when you peel it, you're, you're always peeling so much at the top and then at mm -hmm. the bottom doesn't... It gets so thick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know the physics on that one. Okay. <laughs> but the stringing comes from being able to stretch and everything, the cheese beforehand. So if you're not getting that good stretch on the cheese or the different temperature differences in the cheese before it comes through, you won't get that nice stretch. Okay. So that's why your mozzarella doesn't stretch the same way as your string cheese, even though they're generally the same product or very okay. similar. Wow, that's really, really good to know. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a clue about that. Um, so where do you sell your cheese? Uh, we sell our cheese on our website, stardairy.com. Uh, we do flea markets over the summer, so we do Princeton and Oshkosh flea market every single Saturday. Okay. Uh, Princeton actually starts in two weeks, not this week, but next week they start oh. early. Um, we do a bunch of uh, odd summer markets like uh, Cranberry Fest in Warren's and Eagle River, okay. uh, McGuanago flea markets, uh, Cedarburg, we do a bunch of those throughout okay. the summer. Uh, we also have our cheese chunks, string cheese and cheese curds and pick and saves. Okay. And a bunch of the Piggly Wigglies throughout the state. Sure. And I'm missing one, but that's a lot of the ones. We're, and obviously our stores in Wyawega and in Rosendale, we have all our cheeses as well. Okay. Why you we got? And the most important one of all, <laughs> Jacob's Meat Market, of course. See, that should have been anybody an elbow. Heard Eric. That should have uh, been an yeah. elbow in the wrist. Right. Well, I was I was going through all these different ones. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even catch that part. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> the trusty co-host. Um, so, uh, so you've developed different flavors of cheese curds yeah. over the last number of years. Can you tell us, like, like your top five, or maybe some, oh, yeah. just some, some like <laughs> sure. different off the cuff ones that that normally you wouldn't maybe see, see in everywhere. a string cheese or so, in a, sorry cheese curds no that's okay so a lot of the string the cheese curds we flavor to make lots of different options for people to try i'd say probably our biggest seller and my favorite is the dill and garlic cheese curds okay got a great flavor and most people love a little bit of garlic so that always helps sure. uh sweet bourbon chipotle bacon is probably our number two 
That one goes over really well. I was really, so we carried here at Jacobs mm -hmm. and I was very leery about trying it, but I mean, because it's a mouthful to it even is. say and, and even read and <laughs> I can't read that well. So, um, but I mean, it, it is it is surprisingly, it, it sells surprisingly well. It's got a really good flavor and it's fun. Um, if you want to go spicy, mango habanero is another really good one. Okay. Um, I'd say that's, that's be one of my favorites, but I like a little spicier. Sure. Uh, then you have buffalo wing. Buffalo okay. wing is always a good one and probably round it out with plain cheese curds. Yeah, plain. We have lots of other flavors, but you, you can never go wrong with a plain cheese curd. Sure, okay. So how long can you keep cheese curds for non-Wisconsinites? How mm -hmm. long can you keep cheese curds unrefrigerated? Unrefrigerated? So my main job is telling people not to get sick from food. So my short answer is like four right. or five hours. This is just BFTV. <laughs> no, no, nobody really watches this so anyway. You can, so cheese, cheese gets much more flavorful once it warms up. So you could either throw it in the microwave for three, 10 seconds and just get a little more of that squeak back and a little more better flavor. Okay. Um, you can leave them on the counter for a few hours, but if you leave cheese out, it starts to get dry too. So it's not just worrying about getting sick or anything. It's you want it to get stay uh, moist sure. and tasteful. So I'd say four hours and then put it back in the fridge. Okay, so you can't just take a water bottle out and spritz it or anything to keep wouldn't it be, nice and moist? Wouldn't be quite as good. Wouldn't be good? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> wouldn't be quite as good. That, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so is there anything that we didn't cover? Uh, the only other thing we got here that's really good is probably our Bloody Mary mix. Okay. It's got great flavor to it. Um, it's our recipe, nice big bottles. Those are at sure. the flea markets too, but it's a great special thing to have on the weekends. <laughs> This one right here you talking about? I know about? we just finished Easter brunches, but it's always a good brunch right, option. Right, right. Easter is year-round, isn't it? Or brunches are year-round, Brunches round, are year-round, Yes, think. yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else we missed, Eric? Apparently, you're paying attention. So... All right, thank you very much for thank coming. You. I really appreciate learning about all about um, uh, why we get cheese and uh, cheese in general. Yeah, no so problem. So thank you very much for being our expert today. Happy to be on the joke, joking and uh, BS TV. podcast. There we go, PSTV. <laughs> <Yes. TV. laughs> all right, we'll be right back.
I think we're no longer muted now. Are we going to do that all again? I I don't even know. I said the dairy the the dairy lady was great. uh, Yes, right. (laughs) I said she should take. I tried to tell you to push the button, but uh, well, yeah, you did push that button. uh, Right. See, that's why I should not have you pushing buttons. Correct. So what was that? Ten minutes of us just standing here miming the whole show. Right. Right. We're going to do a quick recap. Quick recap. Tomorrow, Thursday, is National Make Lunch Count Day, and right. lunch we is served Mr. right Kiddos. here at Jacob's Meat Market. Next Tuesday, the 18th, is National Animal Cracker Day, my favorite day of the year, practically. You're going to give animal crackers coated, right? Frosted. Coated, yeah. Frosted animal crackers with lunch on that day. Right. Uh, we talked about, <laughs> all. you saw the picture, the winner of last week's contest, which... Tom. Tom, yes. who won the ham, and we're doing a giveaway this week for a pound of bacon. They, how do they enter? We'll just speed up right there. All right, so uh, any meat question that you've, you've been dying to know uh, your whole life or just in the last four hours, um, you can comment below on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, wherever you're seeing this, um, and we will answer that, number one. And number two, uh, we will pick a uh, We may winner. answer that on the air. Right. So we'll collect okay. them and answer them next week and pick the winner okay. for a pound of bacon. Right. And I do, while you were talking, I wasn't listening. <laughs> but I was thinking. Neither was the, it, it's, <laughs> neither was the, the isn't audience. Isn't it wonderful that we have one viewer that actually went out of his or her way to right. call the store and say they're right. muted? Yes. They're muted. They probably tried to call the store and we have the telephone turned off because off, yes. we don't want to annoy you with sound. All right. Anyway. Can you read Isn't that? Isn't this great, this live part? Paraphrase. Yes, I like yes, that. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, you don't have to read it verbatim. No? Put your own style on that. Well, oh, thank you so much there for watching. We will be back again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. with a live broadcast of BSTV. Please like this video and consider, I think you should, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and come visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific in Appleton, Wisconsin. We're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. That means you're open right now. We are, yes. Did we tell them, did we recap how to get the, the, the Kendra from Star Dairy brought, sure. brought cheese oh. to give away? Come on in and say cheese. Come in, say cheese, and if we still have some cheese, we'll give right. you some cheese. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. We're going to do this again next week? <laughs> See you then. No touching buttons for me, I guess, Bye. next week.